Now the fact that that A value is not equal to one is what tells us that we can use this crazy strategy that I'm gonna show you right now. Start by looking for two numbers that are gonna to add to get our B value. But the two numbers we pick also have to multiply to get us the product of A and C is gonna be negative two in this case. So my two numbers have to be negative one and positive two. All right, so with this mess out of the way, we can now start all the fun, crazy stuff. We chose negative one and two. We're gonna write those numbers somewhere on our page, okay? The value of A in our example was two. So we're gonna divide each number that we picked by two. We're gonna look at our fractions. The first fraction is reduced to lowest terms. And two over two, I know I can reduce that fraction. So I'm just gonna write it as one over one. We're gonna roundhouse kick these fractions, tipping it over from left to right. Leave the denominator of two where it is. And that negative one, including the sign, is gonna come down and sit next to it. We're gonna do the same same thing for the second fraction. Take some brackets and we're going to place an X next to the first number in each set of brackets. And you're going to see that we have a factored form expression right here.